Now, one or two of our viewers have already expressed the opinion on Twitter that there will be a Liverpool bias this evening because of these two gentlemen, but, come on, be honest, you were absolutely purring, weren't you, when that went in? Oh, he's... Um, Incredible. He's, he's just a brilliant player. He's, and, and the, the moment, uh, like, he had a great World Cup um, and he's just come back. I think it was brilliant they rested him for a couple of games because you watch him play his low sense of gravity over the last five, six years. And I know we've been disappointed one or two seasons during that because we, that's how highly we think of him. We, I believe he's one of the best players in the world. I love watching him play. He's dynamic. He beats people. He, I don't think there's... I'm trying to think if, if you were a defender, who you'd rather... I think if you said, who would you rather not play against, he'd, all, he'd be in the top one or two of every defender in the Premier League. And that's a compliment itself. If you want to be Messi, Ronaldo-like, your end product's got to go up. I know he's not a central striker, but Salah scored all those goals from wide. And he's only done it for a year, mm -hmm. as i been doing it for a long time. But he's a one in three in terms of goals. Now, his assists are up there with mm. really high numbers. Yeah. But his goals are one in three. <clears throat> now, the reason I think he should be one in two is because of his ability. Yeah. You know, is it, in, is it within him to, is it in him to be on top of his game every week and, and have that desire to want to score every week? You know, because if you look at someone, I mean, say you go back to Chelsea, Lampard at Chelsea. I mean, his numbers were phenomenal. All-time leading goal scorer. Yeah, oh. but he had that every week. You could see goals, yeah, goals, goals. goals. I'm not sure Hazard thinks goals, goals, goals. It's not the way he thinks. But well, it doesn't mean he's not more talented. It's just a way of thinking. But I think if he, something in him could just think that the go goals is what change games. Well, don't you have to be, to, normally to score those sorts of numbers, you have to be selfish. You yeah. have to be, to an extent, greedy. Mm. He seems like a lovely lad. Uh, I wouldn't... Is, is, no, it, is he just not that type? I don't believe you have to be selfish or you have to be greedy to get that type of numbers because Thierry Henry proved that. Messi's definitely proven that. Mm. Um, but he just... You need... Like, I just... There's times he just needs to keep himself in the right areas. And yeah. look, and there's times, of course, he doesn't track... Um, I, and I wouldn't be too concerned about him tracking either. I don't want him to track. He's too good going the other way. But mm. there's times he he flitted in and out. He wants to. He, he looks to me. He's, he's trying to create everything as well as. There always times you could be on the end of it. I think sometimes trust one or two other players in certain areas and get yourself in sit where you can score. Mm. You can score because there'd be periods in games, like I believe he's got the ability. He should be scoring. You know, I say one and two, he can score nearly every game. Well, his manager said he should be he, he should be getting 40 a season. Yeah, he has that ability. And I, that's I a compliment, that. isn't it? I think yeah. he's given him a compliment. There's not many... Aguero, Salah, uh, in terms of goals that are better than him but, and, and have that ability to go past people. You know, the, the ability to dribble and beat people. One-on-one, -on -one, I think he's unplayable, Hazard. I can't think of someone who I think could cope with him one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah. And, and, and that means people have to double up on him and create space. Watching him you, play is a joy. You have to double up on him. That's how, that's how good he is. And I tell well, you they, where he's... They tried that there. Yeah, but I tell you... Well, yeah, Moreno, unfortunately. Um, but I tell you what, what impressed me, and this is even just watching him, you know, really close up, is how good he is to, to, to his back towards the defender. Unbelievable. He's not, like... Usually we see a lot of players... Like, I couldn't play with my back towards a defender. Mm. I wasn't strong enough, I was, it was just the physical presence of someone else putting me under pressure. It was, that was really my weakest part of my game. And it was, plenty would say, I had plenty of weak parts of my game, but that was my weakest mean? part of my game. It's just awareness, isn't it? But he has that touch where he's able to take it one way and then go to the next. And he, he, he leaves you straight away. He's so strong, you bounce off him. But also, if he's done that there, so the player thinks, if you're a fullback or a defender, you think he's going off, then he can move it inside. He's got that back heel. He's, you don't know which way he's going. That's the gift he has. And, because that low sense of gravity and his strength, then his, his speed, he's is, is so dynamic from the start. He leaves you for dead. Mm. He leaves you, and he's, he's just an outstanding footballer. Did, did you like his that's attitude? Salah's the one who, can, who could be... He's got a bit more... Him. Well, and more. He's already shown he can... End product yeah. is a bit better in terms of... A lot better in front of goal. But if Salah has to do it this season, next season, because Hazard continually has rinsed people and been yeah. brilliant. Did, did you like his attitude as well? I mean, it may have been a bit tongue-in-cheek, but you saw the desire for the goal giving the ball out, going and get it, come back inside. And he said in his post-match interview, he said, he said I just, there's no way of fancy penalties, so you've got to go and score. Got to get a goal. Mm. And if only it was that easy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, actually... And he's come yeah. on as a sub. Yeah, but on, on, thought, on, on a know, serious... He the game, he changed On the a game. serious note, I think the question mark over him is attitude. Many have said it, who know him better than I, that he's a bit chilled 
a bit laid back. That's it's what not, I was trying to say earlier. It's not, it's not about not wanting to work. Some people... I mean, I played with Berbatov, and on the eye, Berbatov, you could, he looks a bit... What's the word? Horizontal. Lethargic at times. Yeah. But actually, his numbers weren't quite like that. And, and, and can you change the way somebody is? Because sometimes, with, with that more relaxed attitude, means you, that's how you play the way you do, because you're not so concerned and you don't worry about the game and you don't get nervous. So if you, change, you, know, you try and change something about someone, they might not be the player they were. I just think he is the way he is. He looks like he's enjoying his football. He says all the right things about enjoying London, enjoying Chelsea. We'll have to wait and see. Only if he went to one of the really big clubs of Europe mm. would we really we, be able to judge him. That's, you know, and that, I believe that's the step he needs to take now. Because I believe he's gone into the Chelsea mentality as well.